Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play on the channel. This is Outriders. I've been looking forward to this game for a very long time, and I've tried to stay away from videos and live streams, because this was released a day early for streamers and content creators. And uh, I wanted to go into this game as blind as possible. Um, I played a demo when it came out for about an hour. And um, I, I didn't want to play any much much more of it. Um, obviously, spoilers and stuff like that. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and get the game loaded up. Um, I've already created my character, so we're just gonna we're just gonna jump straight into it. And I've decided to play as the Devastator. Um, and hopefully, if this series does well, I will consider doing another playthrough with a different class. And I'll leave it up to you guys. So uh, this will take a minute. <laughs> yeah, Outriders, it's finally here. Looking for, been looking forward to it for a while. Let's go ahead and unmute the game here. There we go, you should hopefully hear it now. <laughs> Hmm, it didn't take this long before. There we go. Alright, so you can see I've created the character. You can't choose black hair for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah. Let's start a new game. So excited. Oh, a little bit of screen tearing there. This is being played on the Xbox Series X, so it should not be happening. You are clear to begin descent to surface. Copy. Disengaging. Initiating auxiliary thrusters. Command, we are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on break. Primary ignition, set to 30%. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet falling. Mode 1, we are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, Mode 1. Go for landing. Engines off. Pod 1 has landed. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss, you're ready. Got my truck.
looking really nice so far. I want snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines, and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job. Hopefully the audio and everything is okay. I'm sure people will let me know in the comments. <laughs> Stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see you get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't owe me anything. I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. Okay. <sighs> Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I'm used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. The truth is, none of us should have even gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. You think any one of us is... Man, this game looks absolutely gorgeous. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real Outriders with it, there would be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. Hmm, beat mantle. I'm not sure if I like that. Secure. Will do. Uh, apologies if I sound tired, I've just woken up. <laughs> People, we got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, luck is code. Word. Hey, no matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. Our weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? Really gone. She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ECA has confirmed no communication since. <laughs> Shit. You no, know, I uh, 
grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really. Long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, it was never gonna live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming, you're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here. Build a cabin. Grow old and get fat. That's <laughs> not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. Gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. <clears throat> Don't waste it. Hmm. This has got Mass Effect vibes. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. I'm gonna select all dialogue options um, available. By the way. They got him in cryo as we evacuated LA, hoping we could stop the bleeding. Ah, he was too far gone. Ah, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this and all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. Two for one special, huh? So that's why I've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out, right? <laughs> yes, sir, granddad, sir. Okay. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. Oh boy, a shooting range. Got all of those. No, I wonder. Are there collectibles in this game? I'll have a look. Oh boy. Okay, side quests. Okay, so uh, it just seems to be journal logs, or journal pages. I'll keep a look out for whatever, or wherever they may be. <laughs> oh, sorry, had to sneeze. <laughs> on your mind boss I know that look you get what do you make of this place Jacob it's perfect beautiful how long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic oh come on you can't still be that cynical just look at this valley I don't know boss maybe we all just got too much riding on this we already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up too, it... Maybe we won't. Sure, maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. But, huh? People don't change. 
Still got your money on black, huh? The house always wins. That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. That was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there was thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way. I tried to pull down the launch tower and bashing the doors of her shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Cap and Cuthbert, you're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. I like the suits. Pretty cool. Or outfits. Or uniforms. What you want to call them. Okay, last option. Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. stuff yeah a new toy you're the first one to test it out boss think you could take on a tank damn somehow 80 years has improved your aim Now give that sidearm a try, eh? Ooh. Dual wield. You get a nice amount of shots before you have to reload, I like that. Nice. So if I was to keep a lookout for log journals, what would they look like? I'm supposed to be here. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but to be here. if something goes wrong, if shit hits the fan, people are gonna start pointing fingers. Okay. So we make journals have been locked in many ways. Look around, fight, complete quests, so and try to collect all of them. Okay. The landing can go ahead. From there on, the buck stops with the ECA. Well, still a whole lot that can go wrong before then. Right, so they look like little data packs or like books. Okay, cool. Yeah, these first few videos will be a lot of um, searching around and trying to figure stuff out. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is stunning. I wish you could have seen this there. Hey. Shira, right? I'm sorry. 
Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Oh, if only we had an internet to post those to. It's really a scientific record. Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. It's just... How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something. Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems the initial readings were right. They're breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probe's data to know we can support them. And if we can't? What's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I could answer, Stuart? All right, tell me the truth. You think the ECA's thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life, he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No. I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit. Designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way he thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm uh, sorry. He would have been in all this place. But in the end, it's just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. Hopefully there's not too much of this dialogue stuff. How's this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? <clears throat> yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, and shelter. Then we'll keep waking folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. Meanwhile, the florist stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner, I think you got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. <coughs> Copy that. Hey. It's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? Okay. Right, anything else to do here before I set off? Any more journals? Air composition. Similar to Earth's. Minus all the pollution that is. Okay. Heads up, I got movement. Nine o'clock, something big. All you to stay alert. Guard the perimeter. Hold your fire until we know what we're dealing with. Whoa. We got eyes on some kind of hyena cow things. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarian? 
Cool, just on. I bet they can be domesticated, performing. Uh, I bet they make some fat, juicy steaks. Can we just take a moment of, pre of appreciation here and just look at how nice this looks? I mean, YouTube's video compression might not do this much justice, but my god. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, one of those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe he can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. Okay, hold on. Nah, scared it off, but I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some kind of storm brewing. What the fuck is this? Cap, yeah, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal. But something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny sprint. Over and out. <sighs> All right, now, riders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. Hey, Cuthbert. Any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but... I've tracked its source. There. Hope y'all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jakob. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Oche <laughs> vishcha. Keep knocking my mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that screen tearing. I think I might have the smoothest turned up a little too high. Ugh. Focus. Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. What the fuck is that? <coughs> Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. <coughs> Shit. Alert the medics! What's going on? Stay back! The hell? God damn it. Tanner, got eyes on the probe. ECA HQ, 
We've encountered a potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine for Right, I'm gonna have a quick look here. Uh I mean, it all seems okay. I don't know, maybe an update or something will come out that will fix it. I mean, it's not too bad, but it is quite noticeable. We lost you. I'm getting her straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? What's this collect samples? Oh crap, are we fighting these things? Oh, I guess we are. Okay, you wanna play? Let's play. <laughs> Captain, got attacked by one of those cow things. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that, Outrider. Now move your ass and find that probe. Tanner, I found it. Good work. Get the drive to get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh, oh boy. Carrier frequency is nine seven point. Tanner, do you copy? Oh, shit. Tanner, Tanner. Don't, doesn't anyone carry a notepad with them anymore? Shit down here. <laughs> That was pretty cool.
Damn. Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> uh oh. <sighs> Them. That's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you. We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to. Oh shit! No! Contain this now. Burn the fucking bodies. Well, he's a prick. Can't wait to kill him later. Oh boy. Maxwell, boss, it's goddamn mine. I'll take care of the wounded. Just hold them back. Jacob, cover me. I'm going after Maxwell. I got you. Outriders, stand down. That's an order. Sure. Right after you call off your goddamn. Oh, I got shot. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need to warn the forest. Your outriders are the ones who stirred up this threat, imperiled this mission. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, this is the inventory. Let's have a look here. Oh, nice.
Where are you? What the fuck? Maxwell set up a blockade. He's gonna burn everything down. Why? So he can tell the story his way. How the Outriders fucked everything up. He needs to die. Outrider, wait. Maxwell is the only one who can call up the landing. You need to get him to two regions. We have grenades. No. The red core is a little bit small. This a little bit. Really? It doesn't pause the game? Oh, I don't like that. back into cryo until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm done for. Pep talks aren't really my thing. When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, That's Outriders. That's pretty grim. <laughs> like I always say, Jesus. it ain't over till it's over. Where are you from? 
year? What year? What? Is this your pod? Where were the uplink nodes? Come on, Doc. We need to go. They're coming. Wait, we can't just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. Wait. I'm sorry. This is a long ass portal. Where the hell am I? Shut your goddamn mouth! Hey, soldier, you're ECA too, right? When we get to no man's land, we gotta stick together if we wanna survive. Survive what? Oh, there we go. Your ass is fried by the big storm. Hey, I told you to shut the hell up. We're here. Come on. Go back. Go back. What the hell is happening? Uh, they've got an altar and tear your guys apart. You need to get out of here. But where? Storm's coming. You think the altar care about a storm? Shit, shit, shit. Take the back way through the fridge. We're not going to make it. There's a cop about here. I can't cover him. That's why the captain of the show are you out of your gun. Watch out! I'm loving the lighting. Where are you taking us? I'm not supposed the to. The hell be. is the matter with you? You just wake up or something? Cryo, I just. Well, let me catch you up real quick. That paradise you outriders promised us, guess what we've got instead? Goddamn alien storms! No shelter, no food. Just kick to the curb like exiles while your ECA pals got fat in their bunker. Bullshit! It wasn't like that. We lost electronics. We could have left you all the rot in your cryopods. But we did it! We stabbed you ungrateful! Oh, How many shit! Times did I tell you to shut up? <laughs> Welcome to the Valley of Death, asshole!
Okay, so that is going to be the end of part one. In part two, we pick our class and show what this particular class can do. Devastator, by the way. So, I'm loving this game so far. It looks amazing. It plays really well. I love the lighting and the locate the um the location design and everything. Yeah, I'm uh lost for words. Um that and still very, very tired. So um Yeah, really enjoyed it so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, even though it's only been one episode. <laughs> but you know. Yeah, I'm going to keep going with this, and I will see you in part two, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.